Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. At least it's morning for me. Uh, so today's reading is gonna be a bit different. Uh, I shuffled two decks, uh, so I'm gonna work with two decks right away. Also, uh, today the black color prevailed for me, so we're gonna have three positions. Uh, I'm gonna do it now and you'll see and the subject is gonna be um, a love story between you and your future spouse okay so this is gonna be more of freelance reading that where I'm gonna see the story and I'm gonna also of course ask some questions like uh, how will you recognize them uh, what would you feel when you talk with them and what will, what they will feel on their side uh, but a bit different from what I do usually okay so let's see let's try it just relax uh, have some time for yourself and um, let's have three positions here okay so pile number one Last time you couldn't see the position, so right now I'll try to, you know, concentrate more on that. Let's do pile number one is going to be um, this black nail polish. Pile number two will be the mirroring mirror over here, if you see. And pile number three. Will be the black earrings. Beautiful. Okay, I hope you can see it. Just use your intuition. Um, I'll give you some time. Or you can pause the video. And we are going to start with pile number one, okay? Pile number one, whoever chose uh, the black nail polish. Let me take this away. Okay, pile number one, so... Uh, Who is your future spouse? Let's see their energies. Oh. Very positive person in general. Um, loves to talk to people, uh, very energetic. Uh, I feel a lot of people drawn to them. Uh, they also could be family oriented. They like to, maybe they just like to spend time with their family. Family is very important for them, which is good because it's your future spouse, right? Uh, so they like spending time and they like maybe barbecues <laughs> on a weekend uh, to do with their family. They like to, you know, they have a lot of friends probably. Uh, they love kids. I see here. Um, yeah, they're very energetic. They might even be into some sport. Uh, they like to play sport. I don't know if it's a professional uh, or just a hobby of theirs. Uh, I feel like football, I see here. Doesn't have to be just, I, I'm just gonna say what I feel here, okay? Um, I also see that this person is um, very stable financially or at least uh, they have a house. I see they have a big house where there is like a garden in the back or like a, not the backyard, maybe even a backyard, but very like large. This is for some information, okay? Uh, well, and on the weekends, as I say, uh, they like to spend time with their family, friends, where they have drinks, where they play sports, um, could be anything. Um, I see in general very nice uh, atmosphere. 
uh, but let's see in their career uh, what yes but in their career they're totally different in their career they're a different person where they have to be very um, sec uh, secretive uh, where they use their mind um, they cannot be that open as they with their family they um, use their intuition a lot they work hard they work really hard they um not la a lazy person right they know how to make money yes um they're very successful in their career i feel it's like even if they fail they never stop i feel and they never stop what they do they're gonna continue if they failed they become even more stronger and then they be, they they start over and their success comes even better for them like let's say they went to work in a company right uh but they were just like regular worker right and suddenly something happened or they got fired or they didn't like where they are uh so what they do they don't think oh i failed here right what they think is okay i'm gonna go find another company a better one who will pay me actually more for my work because they know their worth and uh, since they know their worth uh they feel like there is even more potential in the future so they go to another company where they actually more appreciated while the other person let's say a more um negative person they would think uh, oh my god i lost a job and uh, that's it my life is over i'm never gonna do this or that i'm never gonna be successful no this person they actually find opportunity opportunities in their failures if you know what i mean here okay <laughs> very goal-oriented person yes they very secretive uh they not uh, opening up to everyone they know when they have to talk and when they have to be quiet a uh, very um sharp-minded person they um uh, know how to work with their uh intuition as i said uh, very intuitive uh and subconsciously i don't feel like they know they're intuitive or maybe they do but mostly it's like comes naturally it's like in their nature it's in their nature uh to be like that so that was the description of a person right <clears throat> uh let's see how will you recognize them uh like where can you meet or maybe you already know such person like what what, what how it will be like your um connection when you first uh, connect to this person your future spouse <laughs> wow so first of all wow so many cups um so first of all i feel like when you meet this person you would feel right away that they are very loving they are uh, very generous they know how to love they know how to show love uh, that's why i feel here for most you would meet them in some family company maybe or at the same time maybe you will be invited uh, to some as i said barbecue or some party like uh friends where you meet this person when they will be very open like to communication they will be open to new um to meet new people right they will be very love you'll see them as a loving person right um okay where else can you meet them also for drinks yeah if you're going out with your friends for drinks it could be too okay for others where can you meet this person okay for others you could meet them uh through the internet or or uh this person will come from somewhere far maybe they will visit uh your city or your country um but when they will visit maybe it's gonna be due to their job uh, where they work but you'll see right away you'll feel a potential uh, 
uh, when you see this person, you'll feel, uh-huh, so this person is very good for relationships. I don't know why would you feel that. Uh, you would feel right away the potential, the potential of some future with them, of something stable with them. And um, yeah, it's like you would feel, okay, this person came here for a reason. I feel like this is not uh, just... Um, some coincidence you would feel like this is faded that you met this person that's how you would feel right away okay okay and uh how will they feel when they meet you actually how will they feel and what will they think about you right when they start talking to you when they start the conversation with you <laughs> okay wow okay so the thing is when this person when they meet you right um they not gonna show you that they like you uh for some reason if especially if you meet them when they will be uh due to their work even though they're very nice and loving right but they will not show you that they are interested in you. They will hide this. They will hide their feelings and their fears because they will be very scared of the whatever's going on. They will feel something intuitively that uh, they met you for a reason or some. In let's look at this. Look at these cards. Okay, all like looks like negative cards, right? So they'll think, okay, uh, not that good impression right looks like but in reality in their head in their heart because i ask why is that and in their heart they would feel you are their chance they would feel instant love they would feel that this is a good um opportunity for them uh, maybe they were looking for a person before they were uh, searching for options but now as soon as they see you they would feel this uh, ace of pentacle where like oh my god uh, that's the one that's i like this person why do i like them and it's gonna scare them off they, it's gonna scare them uh their sudden uh feelings there uh, and they're gonna try to even um i'm not saying be mean to you at the sometime no uh, they will be nice to you, but they they will be scared right away that this is um I cannot say betrayal, but like it's just they will be they will be scared of their own feelings here, okay? And uh, they'll try to hide it. They'll will they they're very good at hiding things, as we said before, when they need to, right? But in the reality, they will feel this. They will feel this connection and sudden um, realization, I would say, of like, um, who is this person? Why are they here? Why am I feeling the way I'm feeling, right? That's how they're going to feel. Okay. So let's see uh, your love story. How the things are going to go. Okay. How will this all happen? Finally, we'll, we'll look at that, okay? So far, very beautiful uh, reading. I, I see a very potential person in all ways. Aha, uh -huh. how is it going to happen? If, uh, everything will start with sexual attraction here, okay? Uh, you will be drawn to each other. You would feel an uh, instant connection. Uh, you will feel that uh, this person... Is very attractive um, uh, it could be they can, can look differently for everybody is different but uh, for you this person will be very attractive very um... <laughs> oh my god I just wanted to say why this card reminds me of a devil card right and on the other side I swear there is a devil <laughs> okay guys so um 
this person is gonna be like a devil to you, but in a good way, okay? Uh, they will, uh, you will instantly be drawn to them. Uh, you will talk to them like nicely and like um, nothing's going on, like friends maybe, or maybe through work. I don't know what, uh, how is it gonna be, but you would feel so much attraction. Same thing for them. I feel like it's mirroring, right? You would feel so much attraction that you will like be like, um, why am I feeling this way? Why am I so drawn to why? Why do I want to kiss them? Yeah, <laughs> why are I act like a fool? You're gonna even feel that you are acting like a fool, but you're not. But you would feel that way, like, why am I thinking this is my future spouse? Why are are those? And that's because your intuition, your subconscious will tell you that uh, this is the one, right? And they're gonna have the same things, but you will be aware because you already watching this reading right now, you will be aware of what's going on, but they are not, they are not gonna be aware. And that's what's gonna scare them a lot. Um, they will be really scared uh, with their feelings as soon, because they know how to control their feelings. As we said in the beginning, they know how to hide things very well. And here, they're not gonna be able to hide anymore. They, they'll try, of course. They'll be nice, very professional, even. But they not even. I see. Just I just saw. Uh, instantly, they're also gonna feel uh, jealousy. They're gonna start asking questions. They're gonna say. Uh, but like they're gonna go from some other ways. They're not gonna straightforward ask you. They're gonna let's say uh, gonna say. Oh, uh, you probably. Uh, are you going home like who is somebody waiting for you there or like you probably do you have a family but those questions they will be like uh normal questions they're not gonna show you but in the same time they're gonna f try to uh, find information about you they're gonna try and find information like are you married do you have kids uh do you have this or that? Maybe you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. They're going to start making a... They're going to be like a little detective, okay? <laughs> About this. But they're going to hide their feelings. And um, you're going to start telling them things. And then uh, in the back of your mind, you're going to think, uh, why are they asking me that? But they're not going to think you're thinking that. They're just going to think, oh, I'm just being like uh, nice and... Um, could be an air sign too here, okay? Uh, doesn't have to be. So they're gonna ask nice these questions, like nothing's going on, but this is gonna be just because they're hiding their feelings. They're not showing you how they feel, okay? That's how everything will start. Um, then later on, uh, when they find out things, even if you marry it, even if you have kids, they'd care less okay i feel here this person if they saw a potential in you right uh to be with them they will start working on this uh, because the devil in them is too strong right um they don't see uh as i said in the beginning just like in their career this person they don't see um uh, like problem in a problem they actually if there is a problem uh they will find their way okay eventually yes because they're the emperor they don't take no for an answer okay i'm not saying they're gonna tell you okay go get divorced if you made it or like uh uh just uh break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever no i'm saying is they're gonna start doing a search on you they're gonna start going on your social media instagram they're gonna know those even if they don't ask for it they will find out they will find out but secretively uh could be this person in a detective i don't know who they are what's their profession but uh doesn't have to be but uh, uh they will start finding information about you the next day after they meet you I also see this person is very good at the computer things, you know, they searching things. Um, yes, so that's how it's gonna start. I, I don't like look uh, looking like f 
further. I just look at the like beginning, how things are gonna go between you, okay? Yes, at the beginning, they're not gonna like, they're not gonna show you right away. They, it's gonna take some time until they, you know, realize. They might even go for some time. Like, uh, you're gonna think why they not, uh, you know, contacting me anymore, let's see. Even if they took your number or, or have your social media, you're gonna think why they not contacting me, but that's because they, they, um, looking for information about you. You see this person's like hiding and looking what's going on in your life. They're going to be very, um, careful. Yes. They're going to watch you. They're going to be very careful about your life. They're going to find out things. But since we're looking at your future spouse, that means eventually the devil is going to win and they're going to, um, come towards you for everyone's different could take months for them to actually uh it could take days it could take uh, i'm not saying years i don't want to say that but it could take actually up to a year for them to actually to realize that you are their um, future spouse okay but so far very beautiful reading um i loved it i hope you did too um let me know in comments and please like subscribe if you didn't already and i'll see you soon pile number one beautiful thank you bye bye Okay, pile number two, whoever chose the mirror here. Okay. So let's see. Um, first, we'll see who is your future spouse, their energies. Let's see who is this person. Wow. Okay, right away, I can say this person is very attractive. Uh, uh, not just energetically, I feel this person is attractive in, in, naturally in their looks. Uh, could be even famous in a way. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be on uh, social media. It could be maybe they are, um, I don't know, just saying basketball player. I don't know. Something they do. Uh, they could be even in their career. They're very successful. I feel a successful person. They could be uh, maybe a beautiful surgeon or a doctor or a lawyer or a um, um, computer engineer. I don't know what's going on here, but this person is very successful and uh, people see them. I feel like this is not the person who's working, even if they make money, uh, that nobody sees them. They are actually open to the world. They are... Uh, open to society people know them people take advices from them people uh um like to take ask questions they give good advices i see here um wow in general very uh successful person it doesn't mean they're millionaires or whatever i'm just saying like this person uh their wishes eventually come true what they want, they get. And why? Because through their hard work. Uh, they don't give up on things. Yes. If they need to go somewhere, if they need to leave situation, I already saw some cars in there. If they will do it, they're not afraid to start over. Because they know they will be successful eventually. Okay? Uh, that's their energy I just picked up. Yes, uh, wow, okay. A lot of people, they adore this person. They have um, a lot of love for this person. Uh, this person is very, um, um, they know how to wait for things. They're not rushing things. They know 
If they want something, it's gonna be there just a matter of time, okay? Um, they're very careful with things also, I hear. And if they like somebody, if they like somebody, they will be very careful with approaching the person. They are not the person, they will be instantly, uh, I don't see a player here. Uh, they're gonna be very careful they're gonna be um looking around if they, if they feel this uh, it's okay to you know to approach the person if a person married or um, have somebody else this they not gonna you know try to steal them from uh, another relationships they're not gonna do i feel it's a fair person here i feel a, per, a fair person uh yes also, they're looking for a wife or a husband. Take it as it resonates. They're looking for the person for them. They, um, even if you're married, I'm not saying that, uh, it's not your pile, okay? If you are thinking to leave your whoever you have right now, or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, it does, I'm not saying this person is never gonna approach. I'm just saying they will wait. They will wait on you to make a decision uh the uh yeah they 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 know how to wait for a person they know how to wait that's what i'm trying to say here okay yes okay who else is this person wow okay they know how to control their uh, finances i feel uh, they know how to um uh -huh. so here also uh this person if, if they like somebody right and they see potential in a person they would never tell them that they actually consider them as their future spouse or something um stable no they're just gonna be uh normal like uh okay let's start slowly you know they're not gonna rush things they're not the person who's gonna rush even if they see that you are very important they're not gonna tell you this they're gonna hide those things okay in the beginning and why are they hiding those things why yes because in the in the um past uh, they wanted the person more than the person wanted them. So they got their lesson. They, they, uh, yes, uh, with the, uh, in their past, uh, they wanted a, a committed relationship with somebody, but the other person rejected them. That's why. That's why they're very careful right now. Okay. Okay. Let's see uh, in their career how they are. That's how they are like in general in life, right? How people see them. Uh, very positive uh, I feel but let's see in their career who are they what are they doing we're not exactly looking today the career specifics but uh, like you know still I want to say <laughs> very abundant person this person now knows how to make money they know how to um, actually hold not hold it like they don't like to spend it and tomorrow they stay with nothing. No, that's, that's, that's not them, okay? Uh, they're very abundant. They might even have a house already when by the time you meet them, they, um, they have everything set up. They're ready for a family. Uh, whenever you meet them, yes. Um, yeah, but they have a lot of fears. Uh, but those fears it's in the past it's coming from the past and now they're going through a transformation they had lots of fears because they were rejected in the past i feel or something happened they might not even tell you what happened they might never tell you this happened um in their life that they've been through some uh death situation with which means um something has ended and they were uh, they had a lot of pain um so yes with the world something has ended here uh that they wished it would continue they really like the other person and the person just um left them for some reason uh so that's why they're kind of afraid they're afraid but they are ready 
for a new family they are ready for that i don't see that they have somebody right now uh they could but it's nothing serious i don't see anything serious um now let's see what would you uh yeah we wanted to see it doesn't show me exactly the career no uh no it just shows me that this person is very uh, abandoned uh whatever they do they're very abandoned they have everything they need to have a successful life uh they're they're very like um energetic with what they start uh whatever they do if they work very energetic um uh, they love what they do i hear too and they know how to uh keep money like how to collect how to do so they can and eventually like uh buy a house buy a car whatever they they know how to do all those things okay a very positive in general let's see now uh, when they when you meet them right uh what would you feel when you start talking to them <laughs> okay you, what you feel you feel that this is your future spouse that's what you're gonna feel wow pile number one has similar uh, energies here guys i love it oh my god <laughs> okay Look at this, the Empress and the Hierophant. You would feel, okay, this is my husband or wife. I'm their spouse. I love it. Let's get married. <laughs> but it's not literally, of course. Yes. Uh, you would feel right away. This is a very good opportunity. Uh, you would like how they, um, how they are, how they are with money, how they are with work, how they are with people in general. You would love that they know how to achieve things. Uh, as I said, very um, bright person. You would love how they are in society, how people respect them. Uh, you would love all of this. Yes. And you would want to fight for this person. Not, of course, it doesn't mean you have to go and fight for them, even if they have somebody. No. But you will uh, give it a chance, I feel. You'll feel this this person worth my attention. Uh, and I'll want to work on this. Uh, you will instantly want to date with them. And you will feel sexual attraction right away. Yes. Um, you would want even them for, to be in a control. Because you would feel that you are, they are like your mentor. You would feel like, okay, this person, I, I can learn things from this person. Um, I should listen to them. Yes. You would feel a love for them, a lot of emotions. Uh, yes. Even though you might not show right away how you feel to them, but uh, your energies will be uh, so positive towards them that you're going to be like, uh you're gonna wait for them yeah a lot of um feminine energies will come out of you it doesn't matter the gender you j yes and with the start you would feel like you are the star too with them it's like two stars i see here okay you would feel that you are so connected that you are similar maybe you also very um attractive and positive person and a bright person in society i don't know on your side but you would feel this uh, harmony you would feel no matter who you are and what you do you would, you would feel this harmony between you two yes um, you would even want to go right away to their social media and check on them how are they who they uh, who, whose pictures they like what they do their hobbies you would want to know things about them that's how you would feel and again yes you would of course have some fears uh, fears of uh, losing such person or like maybe even if, if, if it's uh, at some point maybe you're gonna feel uh, they're too good for me right and um, I don't deserve it. No, don't think that way because this is we looking at your future spouse. Always be confident about yourself. If such person came into your life, that means it was for a reason, okay? And let's see how they will uh, feel when they meet you, right? Your future spouse. Let's see how they would feel about you. How 
how would they feel about you? <laughs> okay. Wow. Today's readings are like amazing. And again, star. They would feel that you are like a star. Even you, if you think that they're so bright and uh, attractive and uh, successful, that's going to be, you're going to be mirroring with the mirror here that you picked. You're going to be mirroring each other. They're going to feel that you are the star, that you are so attractive, that they have a lot of sexual attraction towards you, a lot of draw, uh, pull towards you. Uh, they're going to feel instantly that you are their family and they're fell in love. Okay, they would feel all of this, all of those uh, positive things about you. They would feel, oh my God, this is my chance. I love this person. I was looking for such person. I was dreaming about such person. And there they are. Yes, uh, they would see uh, a lot of perspectives with you. Like they would see future with you. Wow, this is amazing, guys. They would feel that you are the queen of wands, no matter the gender. They would feel like you are so bright and uh, knowledgeable even and like uh, it's like everything they wanted in a in a person it's gonna be all together in you because the queen of wands is always they it, it's um holds in itself all the um signs like water signs air signs uh earth signs they have the queen of wands has everything okay and that's how they are going to feel that you're full package wow beautiful reading thank you pile number two <laughs> i'm happy for pile number one already and for you guys amazing let's hope pile number three gonna be the same energies thank you guys please like subscribe let me know in comments how how was it maybe you already know such person or maybe not okay but this is how your future spouse gonna be and you're gonna have a mirroring love towards each other pull towards each other thank you guys i'll see you soon bye bye Okay, pile number three. Hello, hello. So whoever chose the earrings. So let's see. Who is your future spouse? Let's read their energies. Let's see who they are, what they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the fool. The fool for me is always a new beginning. So who is this person will be? The person who will change your life completely. They will come to your life to change it from the scratch, I feel. Uh, whatever you had in the past, all those beliefs, people, uh, situations, they just gonna make it to the zero, back to beginning again. If you were in a... Um, some toxic relationships if you were in some uh you had some problems whatever it is uh, even if you marry it and this person comes and, and your life is gonna go upside down but in a good way because the fool they're not afraid to change things they're not afraid they take a leap of faith to change their life completely because this is the first card in a deck okay so let's see who is this person a very light person yes the magician uh they know what they want in life they're not afraid uh to to start over uh wow all three piles today like crazy uh energy is beautiful um okay so who else is this person let's see 
this person knows how to uh, be liked. Like what I mean is if they like a person, they know how to, you know, make you like them back. That's how I feel. And that's the way how they can manipulate in a good way though. Because if they like you, they'll do everything. They'll use all their charms to make you theirs. And since we're looking at your future spouse, that's a good thing, right? So who else is this person? <laughs> I just said, they have the emperor. They know what they want. They are, <laughs> oh my God, look at this. Today, are, like cards are talking to me so well. Look at this. Look what I have. So it is your future spouse. Doesn't matter the gender. Stable person. Person who can who, who knows how to take responsibilities in life. And they will take responsibilities for you because you are their future family. Look at this. Look at amazing, guys. And after a long pause with not being having anybody stable, I just saw some pause card. Uh, you finally will feel uh, loved and cared about, uh, feel filled with this person. Somebody finally is coming to change your life for better. Uh, a lot of positivity. Could be a fire sign too. Uh, doesn't have to be, but this person knows how to take responsibilities for their lives and for whoever they love. Uh, you would have a lot of dates with this person. They will ask you for a date. Uh, they will have sexual attraction uh, towards you. Also, this person, uh, they're very good at what they do and they work. Okay, but we'll see now. Uh, who else is this person? Yeah, look, oh my God, guys, uh, you are all three piles today. People who watch this video in general, very lucky. Um, very victorious person okay they know how to achieve things they will have already something i feel when you meet this person they will already have something um either they will already have a house a re good reputation good job uh they're gonna be already they're gonna be ready for an for a family <laughs> I'm saying for a family and there is a family. They will be ready for a family when you meet them. Uh, and this, whatever they had, uh, already will have, right? It took a lot of, uh, you know, uh, effort for them to get there. They didn't, whatever they have, if they, let's say, have a house, like we see in the picture, right? They, it took them a lot of effort to build all what they have. It's not like they were just lucky and they won the uh, lottery uh, to get over the head. And that's why they cherish their re really um, proud of themselves. They're really proud of who they are, uh, how they achieve things. They will even tell you their story, I feel. Um, they, this person could be a bit older than you or at least they're very mature and, uh, and uh, wise. They already been through things. They already been through all this uh, sorrows and uh, uh, yeah, they already mm -hmm. the life already showed them that there is good and there is bad. They already know. Um, they already been through miserable times. It's not like they were always like that, uh, successful. No, they had some, you know, bad moments in their lives, but now because they had it now they know how to appreciate what they have they they gonna tell you their story how they achieve things maybe they're gonna tell you listen uh that's my story at first um i had no money one day i didn't know how to buy food and then uh this opportunity came to me or maybe i went to college or i studied or maybe some person came to me and suddenly, you know, gave me this job opportunity and I took it and uh, I made a lot of money on it. And that's, yes, it took me a long time to, you know, go there. They're going to tell you all of those things they've been through. Also about their past relationships. They're going to tell you uh, that um, it not always worked out, but... Uh, Yes, you're going to have a lot of nice conversations with this person, I feel. 
but let's see uh what are they actually doing if we if the cards will show what they're actually doing in their career or maybe some hints about them uh what are they doing right Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Interesting. So here I feel this person, first of all, this person is a boss at where they are. Either it's their own business or they are like a manager or a, or a um, pre president like in a company or uh, maybe their career uh, is very high let's say maybe they are a doctor or uh, a lawyer or whoever they are i'm just giving you like the highest positions um or maybe they're just good let's say if they're uh they could be even a coach or a trainer or maybe they do some sport and they're very good at it so they uh, know their worth they people know them in a good way but sometimes they might at they work i feel they're very cold person where they are let's say um let's say if they're even a judge i don't know why i just is just an example guys if they're a judge what judge do right they cannot show their feelings they have to be fair so in their work what they do they're not that nice look at this <laughs> king of swords and knight of swords so this person um they can't they can't be good in the, at what they do they have to be very fair and very cold in, in their work okay so um yeah something like that but people respect them i see that they and if somebody doesn't respect them at their work they right away they could fire this person that's how I feel. They're gonna say, listen, if you don't respect me, if you don't know how to do your job, you have to go. They don't, uh, they don't really give uh, second chances for people. And maybe that's how, why they make, that's why they have all what they have today. Or maybe even uh, it's coming from their family, maybe in their family, uh, that's how their father or mother, that's how they were very uh, strict to the point because this is work okay work doesn't have to do anything with life uh, uh, with like uh, personal life yes and that's why today they have what they have you see how many pentacles uh, I think it's not a bad thing it's actually a good thing you know uh, and people respect them for that I feel it's not that they're like a bad person no People respect that they are not playing around. If this is job, you have to do your job, you have to do it the right way, okay? And you, I feel, also will be very proud of them up there because they are the magician. They know how to take control of their life. Beautiful, okay, let's see uh, now. Um, how will you recognize them or where will you meet them maybe? Or maybe you already know such person. Uh, their characteristics here okay how can you recognize them <laughs> i just said you will recognize them through their profession you will recognize them uh through their character how whatever ju i just um, explained that's how you will recognize them you see they're very sharp-minded very um goal-oriented they know what they know want then they, they know how to control people uh People follow them. People follow them, especially if they're uh, a director at the company or a manager. Uh, people follow what the rules. Yes. How will you recognize them? Mm -hmm. Even though they are uh, so strict and, strict and hide their feelings, you will recognize them by they feel that they're missing something in their life. They're missing this love. They're missing the right person. Uh, they're hiding their kind of greedy and their feelings. 
you would feel that they are very secretive and they are like greedy with okay even if i you're gonna feel like okay um this person is too much about their career and money but this is only because they were hurt they they whatever they have they they work hard on it and that's why they're like that but it doesn't mean that they know how to love because they do because they just didn't find the right person yes they didn't find you here in this uh it doesn't mean they never had relationships it's just they never um uh, I, I hear they they kind of neglected other uh, relationships because they felt that's not serious or maybe they felt that the other person only wanted their money it could also be they felt like um why they were not nice to other partners past partners probably because uh they knew that this these people from their past uh they basically liked in them that they are successful they didn't uh they couldn't find the way to their heart they couldn't find the way yes and the only thing they had with them is a sexual connection okay that's what mattered for them but since this is your future spouse that means you will find the path to their hearts okay and uh yes look at this you will mean the world to them and that's how uh and when you feel they're like it's like their heart is very cold uh in reality you will be the one who will open this person as uh, heart chakras okay Okay, let's see now. Um, what would you feel when you start talking with them? What would you feel? What would? How would you feel? How would you feel? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh huh. What would you feel? You would feel, as I said, all this reading, right? You would feel so coldness like you would feel wow why is this person kind of mean uh what's wrong with them right um also you would feel that they are not uh, right away like gonna show that they're into you they're gonna be very slow and every step they do but instantly you would feel a sexual attraction you would still feel even if they cold uh you will feel that you are drawn to them and with the justice you would feel okay this person's kind of cold and mean, but this is my future spouse. In some way, intuitively, you would feel that this person is my future spouse. Okay, beautiful. And how would they feel when they meet you, actually? How would they feel? How would they feel? Uh-huh. They will also feel that you are the, their chance, but in the beginning, they are either they're going to have some someone, but not serious, nothing serious, or what they would want, they would want you to be their lover at first. They would not open up to you right away. They would not show you yes they will be very secretive with you they would not show you their true feelings they would not show you that they know that you are their uh, fortune that you are fated for them they're gonna feel subconsciously that something's going on here uh with the wheel of fortune it's something karmic even maybe or soulmate uh and you are their chance that's what the card I was looking for. I felt there is should, should be an ace of pentacles coming right now. And it just came. So uh, they would feel that you are their chance. But they will not show you. They're going to even maybe be... <laughs> look at this. <laughs> they would not show you that you are their future spouse. And they already picked you, right? But what they will tell you, even maybe, that, okay, you know what? Let's start as uh, lovers or you know just something not important not stable and that's how you will also recognize them that they're not gonna give you right away that oh my god i fell in love no they're gonna be kind of mean but you would feel and they would feel 
at the same time that you are meant to each other you for each other you are have to be together uh they're gonna hide it their feelings so well it's like it even sometimes will like make you angry and if you married when you meet them already maybe you coming out of marriage or you divorce i don't know this is just for some amount of people uh, they gonna tell you, you know what? Uh, for now, let's just be a lovers, okay? They're not gonna be afraid of your other half that uh, somebody will find out something. They don't care, okay? If they like you, they want you. Here I see. Uh, so very interesting uh, person. Yes, they will fight for you. They will uh, make sure you are theirs because they are again the magician, okay? And let's see. Let's see how about your love story. How it's gonna uh, uh, unveil, or how do you say that? How it's gonna go with you in the beginning? I never look far. Yes, in the beginning it could be a hidden, hidden relationship. In the beginning, for some reason, they're gonna come and go until they realize. Yes, um, in the beginning you would even feel they're not serious with you, and nothing's gonna happen eventually because they are kind of cold still but this is um just because they know how to man manipulate that's how they used to be until they will go through a transformation i don't know what gonna happen here maybe even uh i don't know if it's a third party for some a third party situation could be in between but um uh, until they realize they go through a transformation they realize that they have feelings for you okay until they realize you are their person, they cannot live without you and nobody else is gonna be like you to them. I don't know what they have to go through, what you guys have to go through, through some sadness, through some disappointments. This is not gonna be an easy uh, relationship that you just met, fell in love and got married, no. This is gonna be, um, some other people could be involved here or at least they not gonna, you might be through some post situations here, uh, some disappointments. Um, you will have to work on this relationship, basically. This is not the easy thing for you. Power number three is for you to get to the Empress uh, position, to, to actually uh, get married. This is going to take some time, okay? Uh, yes, some time and um, patience. But since we're looking for your future spouse, it's eventually gonna happen. But they have to go through a transformation because they kinda, uh, they, their um, characteristics, as we saw in the beginning, show that this person needs this transformation to, to actually realize who you are to them that you are the one who they need for the rest of their life, their life or at least for a long period term. Um, yes, so eventually when they go through the transformation, uh, you'll become a family, uh, you'll be fulfilled and you'll be, everything will be fine. You just need your characters maybe they're gonna be at first like not as, uh, same maybe you are this loving nice person and they're so strict and uh, cold and um and at times maybe even aggressive i don't know so that's going to be the tension between you in the beginning until you realize yes uh, even uh, some jealousy here until they realize because i don't feel it's you i feel it's them who needs to realize things okay eventually Wow, still beautiful, right? Pile number three. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in comments. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.